This is gonna be short. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And this time we are jumping across the pond to our friends in Scotland. That's right, we're doing a scotch tasting today. It's part of a pair of releases from Ben Reich, which we'll be doing, yes, in this video, and of course the subsequent one. But today we are starting with the Ben Reich Malting Season. And if you like special editions, just like I do, do me a special favor, like, comment, subscribe, it helps us so much with this channel. And go ahead and leave a comment talking about your favorite scotch. You drink scotch or even just dabble in scotch? Tell me which one is your favorite. But as for today, we are getting into one of the special editions coming to us from Ben Reich. It is the malting season, the second time this has ever come to U.S. soil. And what it celebrates is an old tradition of making single malt scotch whiskey by taking the barley after it sits in the water to open up they take it out and they lay it literally hand across the floor of the malting house and let it dry for a few days and turn it by hand by a team of experts. This is an old process which is used to bring out the supposed creamy flavor of the malt, the natural creamy flavor and viscosity in the malt, and then bring that to the whiskey. So Rachel Berry, our head blender, selected Concerto malt, which is what they used for the last edition. They did that again, but they went in at a different uh, barrel strength this time, so it affects the flavor of the outcome of the final product, so making it unique each year. So what that brings us is to this. It is a non-age shaded single malt scotch whiskey. It is 48.9% ABV. It is available for $159.99 MSRP, or whatever the hell your local liquor store wants to sell it at, because you know what they like to do with prices. But without that, let's get into it. And you can see already it's pretty light. As we know, scotch can often do that. These are aged and used barrels. A lot of uh, first fill bourbon barrels are were used to age this, as well as some virgin oak, American oak barrels. So we have a little bit of both, but I imagine it's mostly going to be the first fill bourbon barrels. But very, very light. We don't know how old it is. But scotch is the one whiskey where I don't let that fool me. I've had some 20-year-old scotches that look like white wine and they were excellent. So let's take a whiff. Holy crap. That is the creamiest, like vanilla ice cream sundae smelling liquor I've ever smelled. Holy crap. Nice, light on the nose. We're almost 50% ABV, so like a, a nice proof, but again, not super, super strong. No burning, no alcohol burn on the nostrils. Oh, like crumb cake, vanilla, sugary. That It's like vanilla ice cream with a little bit of like kind of a cinnamony swirl in there. Nice spice, a little bit of fruitiness, but it, it is all confectionery. Like a great, like, I don't even know, brownie, muffin, like crumb cake. Crumb cake is what I was looking for. It's like a lovely crumb cake. I got to taste this. Ooh, a little spicier than I expected, actually. Really nice, creamy and viscous, like I thought it would be, like I was hoping it would be. Really nice pepper spice in like the middle front of the palate. Beautiful, long-lasting finish, though. Here's where more dried fruits come in. Get, we get a little bit more... Dried cherries, dried apricots, things like that. Some nice, like, bitter floral flavors in there, too. It's not quite the confectionery explosion of the nose, but it's actually a nice disposition. Normally, sometimes you get this where it smells like one thing, and then the taste is that amplified. 
Sometimes you get very opposite things, which makes for a very interesting pour because both of them are very good in their own right. You have kind of a spicy dried fruit palette and finish, but this warm, creamy, sweet nose, and they're both good. It's not like one of them is a letdown and one of them is good. So that brings us to the question though, for 160 bucks, it's hard for me to break the hundred dollar mark. But if you're a fan of scotch, and this is a you know a one time a year limited edition kind of thing, and it's not an arm and a leg to find, I think it's pretty worth it. That is an excellent, excellent pour. Um, and considering the skyrocketing prices of whiskey and scotch in particular, that's a pretty fair price. If you can get it for that price, this is a special pour of scotch whiskey. But let me know, would you pay that? I want to hear from you as well. In addition to hitting me with your favorite scotch. See, trick questions. We hit you at the end. Hit, tell me if you'd be willing to pay $160 for a very special bottle if you thought it was worth it. Tell me what you think would be worth it. Like, subscribe, comment. And until the next time, we'll see you on the next one.